morning and happy vlogmas day what day is it day seven i woke up took a shower i need to feed the babies i didn't quite make enough food for them so i'm gonna put some oatmeal in their food and then i've got to get some editing done i'm not really sure what i want for breakfast though let's put some oatmeal in their food it's clean it's just crappy Tupperware. That's what happens when it goes in the dishwasher for some reason. You guys want to see how my morning is starting? That's fun. <laughs> That's okay. We'll clean it up and we'll have a wonderful day. While we're waiting for the dog food to cool off a little bit, it's really hot, let's do the advent calendar. Um, Rob is at work right now, so we'll just do it without him and leave him some candy for later. Day seven. Okay, let's see what's in there. Oh, that's him calling now. Hi, baby. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, you know, driving. So cute. Okay, let's go back to opening this. I should have told him that I was opening it. That's okay. Okay. Reese's. This one's definitely mine. And then the lemon heads again. Maybe we'll split it. I'll be nice. We'll split it. Great breakfast. Okay, let's feed the dogs. Are you hungry, honey? Sit. I think I need to trim them a little bit. <laughs> Gotta create a little bit of that ambiance. I have a long day ahead of me. <laughs> we gotta turn on the Christmas tree too. We can't forget the Christmas tree. I have it on a smart switch so I can just turn it on. On my phone. Beautiful. I've kind of set myself up a little workstation in my living room so I can spend time with the dogs and also edit my videos. So let's get some editing done. I'm finally done doing the all the editing for yesterday's vlog. Now I want to um, create our Christmas card. So let's do that together. I thought it would be something fun to do. So okay, first I'm gonna go into Canva. Let's do a little screen record. Okay, I'm gonna go into Canva and I'm gonna create a four by six. Because that's what I'm going to do for the Walgreens printing. Okay, let's go in and try a circle. I want to do it this way or not, but let's play around with it a little bit. So, This is all of our Christmas photos. I like this one the best because it has the whole family there. Let's try a little Christmas tree. And I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Let's play around a little bit. Let's try to put a little border around the picture maybe. I'm not sure. Let's 
Let's try to do something kind of simple. I'm liking the simpleness of this year's card for some reason. Ooh, I like that one. That one's cute. I don't know how I feel about the Christmas tree though, so let's put in some writing first and then we'll decide. I think I like this font. Let's write Merry Christmas and then maybe connect them so that it goes across the whole card. I think that would be cute. We'll just do a line and make it the same size connected to the M and the S on the other side. Um, let's try to do a lowercase M and a C. Let's see if that works better. Play around with it a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I like the Christmas tree, so let's try something different. Maybe let's try to do a rectangle frame and then maybe write something at the bottom of the card as well. Let's do like a light green color maybe? I'm not sure. Let's figure that out. Okay, let's layer that underneath the picture and then we will change the color. Yeah, I really like that color green. Okay, let's put in our family name and then with love and do a little swag moment. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's add like a paper, like linen background just so that it's not stark white. Yeah, I like that, but let's do a little bit more options. I did this one with kind of a Polaroid and some swag moment. I really like this font. Let's do Happy Holidays on this one in red and then the same font with maybe 2023. And then let's do another one with more than one photo. I really like that one with the Christmas tree and hubby. Okay, let's add a little swag. I love this one with the bow. Add Happy Holidays and the same font. These are the three options. Let's go order it on Walgreens. Stay tuned for what I choose. Guys, if you do not use, um, if you've ever heard of honey, honey and cult, it's coupon print. I'll link it below, but it's an extension that you can put on your web browser so that it can give you coupons and you can save money. My original total was $25.80 and you know how much I have to pay? $11.15. That's how you save some money on the holiday season. And you can use it for literally almost everything. It's crazy. And it just does it automatically for you. Save that money, honey. Okay, submit or tur. Oh my goodness, that's really zoomed in. Hold on a second. That's a sight for sore eyes, huh? Okay, anyways, I'm making dinner. Something super simple. It's not even a recipe, guys, so don't get too excited, but I'm making the Panera bread, broccoli, and cheddar soup. And we're gonna make, um, well, I'm gonna make uh, ham and cheese grilled, like a grilled cheese with ham in it, sandwiches to dip in the soup. My husband is almost home from work and he's gonna come home to a lovely meal. Merry Christmas, baby. This is literally like the best soup ever. And you can have it at home. You don't even have to have a Panera bread. The, literally the nearest Panera bread to my house is like two and a half hours away, so. You get the Panera feeling without the Panera. If I had have planned ahead, I could have done like a Panera bread, like sandwich, but alas, I did not, so. Ham and cheese it is. It would have been really good to have like a ham and cheese with like arugula on it, tomato. But you know, sometimes, you just have to have an easy dinner. Watch me spill this all over myself. That would be lovely. Okay. I'm gonna save these containers too because they would be like a perfect little like to go cook. Waste not, want not, right? Look how good that looks. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, let's make sandwiches. Okay. You guys, I know this is not super healthy for you, 
But if you have not had the Sara Lee butter bread, you're missing out because it's so like fluffy. Oh, so good. It's in a baggie, but it's like the deli um, cheese, pepper jack cheese. And then just Hillshire Farm. <laughs> um, Black Forest ham. Look at how my husband opens this. Like, why? There's literally a pull tab. <laughs> what a goober. Make it nice and girthy. Mm -hmm. Just a little trick that my dad taught me. Um, if you put mayonnaise on your grilled cheese, it'll make it super crispy and flavorful. So, like, I'm not quite sure if it was my dad or my mom, but it doesn't really matter. Either way, it makes it so good. Guys, I was just making the other sandwich and I put this cheese on. That would have been nice to eat. <laughs> and then I just add a little dash of parsley. Give it a little bit of extra flavor. We need that flavor. Ooh, Hanta and bananas. All right, let's put the grilled cheese on there. It's literally the fridge, bro. Chill. Take a chill pill, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> it's the fridge. Makes ice. <laughs> I know. That's part of the yellowish banana that can We're just gonna chill out for the rest of the night and watch Home Alone, one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's so wholesome. And then we're gonna go to bed early because we are both exhausted. Hubby has been off out and about today working and I have just been editing and doing things around the house, but I'm exhausted. I will see you again tomorrow for tomorrow's Vlogmas. Love you guys so much, bye.